I am using iOS 18.2.1 a week now and this is a weekly review of iOS 18.2.1 in this video I will specifically cover battery life throughout the week and I will also talk about the performance and if I will also share if any sort of issue I am facing no without any further delay let's get jump into this video well I will start with the battery life. So I will go to the settings over here into the battery section. Let the battery stats load. First of all, we will see if after like a week I'm still facing battery draining or not. Well, you can see the graph. Over here, I stopped using my phone. I was using my phone until that. After here, I stopped using my phone and I picked up my phone over here. Now, overnight, as you can see right now, it is 28%. So, it was like 48% or something when I stopped using it or maybe 50%. Almost 20% dropped overnight. And obviously, there are background processes going on. It's an old iPhone 2 and the battery has is also 86%. For that, 20% seems decent. But yes, it is quite high. What you can do is you can turn on the low power mode. I will try a low power mode overnight and I will come back with a follow up video to see if the low power mode helps or AI was 18.2.1 or not. So make sure to subscribe for that video. That will be kind of interesting video. Now coming back to this video over here last 10 days over here I am using I started using I was 18.2.1 on this day over here. And at that day, I used my phone a lot. I used like 125% battery was consumed, which means, of, of course, I put it on charging. So after that, I got 5 hours and 13 minutes screen on time, in which I'm quite active with YouTube, Threads, and some other apps. I also used personal hotspot for my other iPhone. So this is one of the reasons why the screen on time might be lower in upcoming days. Now the next day I used almost 75% of my device and this time I got 3 hours and 6 minutes screen on time. Again, the most used thing is personal hotspot. I also use WhatsApp, camera, some other applications as you can see. But this is one of the reasons why it is why the speed on time is quite low over here. The next day I consume like 85% or 80% of my device or maybe I guess no. I use 90% of my device and this time it is very very low as you can see. Now the main reason is over here is again I was very active on personal hotspot. Other than that I used some other applications. Now the next time I used 80% of my battery life and this time I got 2 hours and 22 minutes screen on time. Moving to the next one over here I again got 80% of usage and this time it is 3 hours and 31 minutes. And it is way improved over here and as you can see I didn't use my personal hotspot over here. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why the battery life is good over here. I am quite active on threads, YouTube and some other applications as you can see. Now on this day I just used my phone for 50% and that's just 44 minutes skin on time. Which means mostly the battery is drained on battery draining. I didn't use my phone much so I am not including this day over here. On this day, I got 75% of my device uh, of battery life and I got 6 hours and 33 minutes of screen on time. I'm quite active on different applications as you can see. Now, this app was running in the background. So, it should be included in the background. It should be included in the screen on time of. But I don't know. This is not right. Being very honest with you guys. So, I will include like one hour of this app, one hour of this app, some other applications. I will say around three and a half hours or four hours was screen on time again. This day, today, I just woke up like 25% of usage. I just checked a couple of things. So, it's just 40 minutes screen on time. Now, if I conclude the screen on time over here, the average screen on time is three hours almost. And that is a decent screen on time. I'm also using network, Bluetooth. Most sometimes I'm active on a 4G also. So yeah, it's a decent screen on time. But it is not as good as it should be. 18.2 was better. But 18.2.1 is not that great. It is decent, not that great. So I'm expecting 18.3 will be a better with a battery life. Now, I just talked about the battery life. Now I want to talk about the performance. And for that, I will go to the Geekbench app. While I got the highest 
one of the highest geek results in the CPU benchmark and also in the GPU benchmark. I got 13, 19 on a single core, one 3054 on a multi core, running 18.2.1 as you can see for here. Also, this is also 18.2.1 and this time scores were even higher. So yeah, on paper, performance seems good, on paper results are really good. If I go back from here and to the GPU benchmark, I saw the GPU history over here. This is the highest ever metal score on iPhone 10 as running iOS 18.2.1. As you can see, if I compare with the average iPhone 10 as it is what it was 8182 and I'm getting 993, which is insanely high, which means whatever iPhone you are using, you will be getting really good scores. This also means if you just ignore the battery life, battery rating, overheating issues, whatever. In terms of performance, performance is really good. I haven't seen any sort of lag or something like that. Everything is working fine. So, now if I talk about the issues, I'm getting so many comments from you guys regarding slow charging issues, overheating issues, battery rating issues. Well, I did a video about a battery rating and overheating issue. Go to my channel, check out that. Also, I just shooted a slow charging uh, issue i also uploaded the video go to my channel check out the video too i'm not facing slow charging issue i'm not facing overheating issues it is working fine for me so maybe what i share in the videos that might help you guys too so overall if i say it's a decent update but there are things that need to be fixed there are battery draining need to be fixed it is very important to fix battery draining and it must bring out battery uh, health better than the 18.2, but it is not better than the 18.2. It is do low, lower than the 18.2. So I'm expecting Apple will bring other update and improve the performance. Let's see. Well, this is all from this video. So I'm also noticing that many people are coming to my channel. Thank you guys for a big support. There is no doubt on that. But many people are not subscribing. So guys, your subscription is very important. It costs you nothing, being very honest. It's completely free and you can just support me and, you know, you can just follow me. Also, I am quite active on threads these days. I do a lot of different posts. You can see I did a poll where I asked you guys about the charging issues. People are still like polling on it, voting on it. There are many in the post like I do different sort of posts, very fun posts and sometimes. So yeah, make sure to follow me on threads. The I was guy 101. We need to hit 2000 followers very, very soon. Well, this is all from this video. I just want to speak out my heart at the end of this video. Again, thanks for your support, guys. And hopefully, um, you're, you get a decent update from Apple. Well, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.